so today's video is going to be a Kylie Jenner Golden Globes makeup tutorial and I used all drugstore products in this video which is quite shocking even for my brows um, I don't have a brow tutorial up yet I don't really use these products for my brows but I thought let me just use drugstore products for my brows for this video um, I just love how like she had these big brows and like this brown smoky iron and a simple lip and I on the pictures it looks like it's shiny so I just put some gloss on top so I never really wear shiny lips but it's a it's a inspired makeup tutorial so um yeah I had so much fun making this look she's just so pretty her, her outfit was pretty and it was oh I just love it she looks really good so I hope you guys will enjoy this video and we'll just jump straight into it so I'm first going to moisturize my skin as always and I'm going to use my Garnier Moisture Match um, cream for dry to very dry skin and I'm really really concentrating this around my nose area because lately my skin ha has been so dry and it's just been flaking and stuff and it really gets to me I hate it so much but now I'm going to just move on to color correcting and I'm using my LA Girl orange corrector just using this around my mouth area to cover pigmentation and then for foundation I'm using my Revlon color stay for normal to dry skin in the shade toast and I'm going to blend this in with my Real Techniques stippling brush. I'm then going to tap the foundation in around my mouth with a sponge because I don't want to swipe it with a brush because the corrector is there and I don't want it to move. So I just use my, my Real Techniques sponge just to press the foundation into my skin um, and I just feel like it gives a really nice finish. Now I'm going to take Makeup Geek Preppy and I'm going to apply this all over my eyelid. And then I'm also going to take the edge of my cream and use this as a like guideline. This is really good to get that sharp edge as well. And this is also going to be my transition colour for the dark brown shadow. So for my brows I'm taking this Rimmel eyebrow pencil and I'm going to just kind of outline my brows. I'm really trying to grow them out and get them to their fullest bushiness, I don't know, but um, it's just that my eyebrow lady, she just always messes them up every time so I'm trying to do them myself for once. Um, I'm just, just filling it in with the eyebrow pencil and then I'm taking my NYX brow pomade thingy in espresso and I'm going to only apply this in on the outer bit and this creates a really nice gradient on the brow as well so I always use a spoolie to just distribute the product and make it look as natural as possible and then I'm going to take my concealer and this is the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in Nude and I'm just cleaning the edges with a flat brush And then I just fix up the areas where I think it needs more product and then um, I'm just going to use my sleek brow gel to tame those brow hairs. So here I'm just using my Makeup Revolution eyeshadow, I don't know the shade right now but I'll write it in the info box and I'm using a fluffy brush to just blend this out on the outer corner of my eye and it doesn't matter if you go really far off because we're just going to clean this up afterwards with a makeup wipe and it will give that really nice cut edge as well. Then I'm going to grab my um, Morphe Brushes eyeshadow palette, this is the Jaclyn Hill Favourites one and I'm grabbing this shimmery goldish shade and I'm going to apply this on my mobile lid. I did think it was a bit too light so I went and grabbed this shade right here and applied this on the top and I just thought it was the perfect shade although I couldn't really see on the picture what she had on her lid but um, there was something lighter than the brown shadow around the edges so I'm just going to go with this and I'm just touching up the edges um, and making it not look as curvy, um, that was bothering me but I wanted to go straight but it was going curvy around my brow bone area. So I was really trying to fix that up and I'm using a clean fluffy brush right here just to clean up the edges and make sure that everything is blended out. You can also go in with MAC, the preppy eyeshadow, the, well your first transition shade and just clean up the edges with that as well. So as you can see there I just cleaned the edges with my makeup wipe and it really gives a cut edge and then I went over the um, that area with my foundation brush just so that there was some still some foundation there. Here 
Here I'm just adding some more of that brown Makeup Revolution eyeshadow on the outer V corner just to intensify that a bit, a bit more. And then I'm going to curl my lashes and then for mascara I'm going in with my Maybelline Last Sensational in Intense Black as always. Um, she did have some lashes on I guess but um, I didn't want to wear lashes but if you want to wear lashes feel free to do so. So then for concealer I'm using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Toffee and then my Maybelline one in Nude. Um, the LA Girl one is more of a transition shade to my foundation and I feel like it works well with this concealer and because that one, the Maybelline one is really bright as you can see here. And then I like to just blend it with my Real Techniques Milk Curl Complexion Sponge and as you can see it really cleaned that edge with the eyeshadow a bit more. And I'm going to set that in with my Makeup Revolution Ultra Contour Palette, the yellow shade. And then I just did the same thing on the other side. I'm then going to take a flat shader brush and apply the eyeshadow on my lower lash line and really kind of smoke that out. She, you can tell that she had some brown eyeshadow on her lower lash line. And then I'm going to take my mascara again and just apply a bunch of mascara on my lower lashes as well. I could tell that there was a lot of bronzer on her face so I'm just taking my NYX matte bronzer and just quickly bronzing up my face and also kind of contouring at the same time. I do have a video on this like on how I get bronzy dewy skin so I'll link that video in the info box and I did do it a bit more on my forehead because the forehead had a lot of bronzer on it as well but it just looks so pretty like I just love bronzy skin nowadays. And then for my blush I'm taking this Rimmel Trio blush, I think it's called Oh So Spring or something like that but it will be written in the info box and it has kind of like a shimmer to it so it acts like a highlight as well so I just concentrated this on my cheeks. Then I'm going to grab my Rimmel lip liner in Cherimisu and then apply this um, on my lips I'm outlining them well really overlining them because she has massive lips and I wish I had her lips but I don't but still you can always make them look bigger with lip liner and I just filled it in with that lip liner as well and then to add a bit of shine to the lips I'm using this L'Oreal Glam Shine Lip Gloss in sheer pink so that's how I created this makeup look I really hope you guys enjoyed this video please 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 give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos let me know in the comments below what you would like to see next because my to film list is getting shorter 